Welcome back to more Shadow of the Tomb Raider. I'm Negative Zero. Thank you for watching. I do hope you're doing all right. That smoke is coming from our old plane. We can go around to the right here, but there is... Oh, we can't... Oh, okay. Here we go. There we go. Oh, look at that. What's over there? There is so much area to traverse. You can explore and explore and explore all the things. That goes over there. Oh! Let's just go. <laughs> Let's just go to the plane. The plane! Jonah, are you there? He didn't make it. What's wrong with your arm? Ah, some sort of parasite. I was looking for some warm wood, but it doesn't grow around here. Let me see. <laughs> what are you doing? If we leave it in there, it'll only get worse. Sit. Ah. Ah, you sure you know what you're doing? Uh... <laughs> I had something similar happen to me when I was a child in Egypt. I won't lie, it's gonna hurt. You think that storm from earlier was the storm? The one from the mural? I don't know. Uh, uh, I think maybe we should stop and take stock. We've been pushing so hard forward, <laughs> flying into that storm. I didn't think it was gonna be that bad. I... Well, I should have insisted we turn back I mean I get it you lock onto a problem and everything else just disappears <laughs> Jonah I, I I'm with you it's my choice most of the time but if we die who stops the cataclysms who keeps Trinity from doing what they want Sometimes I feel like I have to keep going, and if I don't, then I'll just let everyone down. But maybe for the sake of a few hours, we could have turned back. <laughs> maybe we should give him a name. Okay. Eli? No, my cousin. He's always trying to get under my skin. <laughs> Goodbye, Eli. Thanks. We should go. If we can find Kowakyaku, we can rest for the night. Sounds good. Looks like Jonah's with us for now. I think oh, we can see the village this? through the vines over there. Wait, wait, Jonah. Hold on. I'm glad you stayed at the crash site. Well, if you were out there, I wanted you to be able to find me. I had a flare gun, so... Yeah, I think Miguel was heading toward it when... Poor guy. How'd you manage to get Eli in your arm anyway? Uh, I was trying to figure out if the... He's a little too far away, away for us to hear him. <laughs> you really believe in all that, that stuff you said about the cataclysms, the apocalypse? I believe that if it is true, it's important enough to die for, or for Trinity to kill for. So this is really about revenge? No, no. I, when I took the key, 
I also felt a power pulling me towards something. It's real. If you felt a power pulling you when you took the key, is it in your head now? No. It left me when Dominguez took the key. If it's that strong, how can you be sure? Let's just find Kwakiaku, okay? Okay. You know, if it was about revenge, I'd understand. <laughs> Would you, though? Wouldn't you rather be somewhere warm and dry with a beer, maybe a friendly stranger to flirt with? <laughs> yeah, I would, like you can imagine. But I'd still understand. It's not revenge. Well, I think we're going to save up our skill point to get the reveal traps guy because I feel like I would be blundering a lot into them. Wait, I thought I saw... Over here? No. Over here. Yeah, see, he walked away. <laughs> Is that a gun or a woodpecker? Um, this isn't a good sign. We can get through here. Give me a hand. That reminds me of that game, oh gosh, from like 10 years ago. You see that? It must be Kwakiaku. We have to get down there. With Monkey and the red-headed girl. I want to say Nell, but I don't think that's right. And it was like a Journey to the West rip-off. Not, not rip-off, but let's say um, Love Letter. What was it called? I can't remember, but it was like futuristic post-apocalyptic, and you had a lot sure of uh, a, path. Come on. Stay a lot of robot in. enemies to fight. This is definitely not a path. <sighs> Let's keep going. Oh, oh my God. Almost there. Almost there. Heard that before. <laughs> <sighs> Oh, got you. You're right. This is a fun okay. game, but it was Just a not very steps. popular, if okay. I remember. Okay. You're all right. I, I, I'm okay. I'm okay. Enslaved? Enslaved Journey to the West? No, I, I, I can't remember. Anyways, let's play this game. What do you think built oh. all this? It what is could this? have been the Inca. They knew a lot about hydraulics. Inca. Inca in Peru. Isn't... I hope that this structure, the bridge is down. No, Maybe you gotta follow me closer. Where are you? Maybe. This depicts the Incan god Kon. He was the son of Inti, the sun god, and Pachamama, the moon goddess. Kon was in charge of the wind and the rain. Although, in some legends, he was only in charge of the weather that came from the south, while his brother, Pachacamac, was in charge of weather that came from the north. Interesting. Machu Picchu was what I was thinking of. There are I bet this water is ruins in Peru. <laughs> you want to try it? Uh, I think I'll stick to the bottles you found in the cargo from the plane. Hmm. Can't figure out the dialect. I must be missing something. The Quicha dialect, the Quecha. So we have to learn a little you know, bit more before we I can. If I had known how much time I'd spend in the wilderness, I'd, I'd have paid more attention in Boy Scouts. <laughs> Wasn't your thing. Well, my family situation meant we didn't get to do a lot of stuff like that. Oh, we're nearly there with our Quecha. The canopa serves as a receptacle for offerings of cocoa and animal tallow. The stuffed canopa is thrown into the farmer's field at the start of the harvest season as a gift for Pachamama, the mother god. It is said, if the present is accepted, the farmer will yield large crops in a successful breeding season. Hmm. Interesting. I love it when she geeks out like that. 
It's up here. What about you? Ever do Girl Scouts or nature camp as a kid? Mm, does boarding school count? <laughs> I don't know. Does it? <laughs> Probably not. But Roth showed me some things. I always preferred the company of adults anyway. <sighs> yeah. I miss that guy. Me too. Hey, that did something. I think the water powers the bridge somehow. With Eli gone, your arm should heal quickly. Yeah. Need to get the water flowing to the bucket. So lift this guy up, I guess? It's too heavy. Give me a hand. The water's filling the bucket. Good. Let's see what those counterweights do. Look at this. Need to get the Ugh, the bucket's leaking. Come on back. We'll try again. Are we attaching that to something? Need to get the water flowing to the bucket. Yes. Yes, we do. Okay. Run over here and do something. I think I saw a rope coil on a bridge. I'm going to have to let it go. Hurry! Need to get the water flowing to longer. the bucket. I absolutely don't get this. Do we jump on it? I feel like if we go down, we'll die. We definitely want that attached to that. Is there to get the a ledge or something? The what is this? Hold on, what is this? Need to get the water flowing to the bucket. Thank you, Lara. Guys, this is the worst puzzle ever. I have had this figured out. It's a timing puzzle. You want to jump down to the level below. But you cannot until it's all the way down there. Then you go here, gotta fall, not fall in the river, and hit this, and okay, do Jonah, this. You can let go. Incredibly terrible, because if you jump off the ledge too soon, the rolly thing goes back up ahead of time. Which is stupid. Uh, I'm very frustrated with this because when you figure out a puzzle, you should be able to do the puzzle, not deal with stupid crap. <laughs> Sorry about my language, but it's incredibly frustrating. I spent like 10 minutes doing a puzzle I had already figured out because there's some little auto reset if you try to get to the area you need to get to too early. And if you What's don't that? control your fall, you fall into the river and die. Stupid. Think Forgive me, but stupid. <laughs> the game's gonna have to win me back now. Help me with this. Sure. What is it? It's a recipe. Seems to be a mixture of herbs. It could help if we run into any more jaguars. <laughs> Let's hope we don't. Way out is over here. I have the eagle. Hold LB, then tap Y to use perception herbal mixture. Perception allows Lara to sense animals. LB, tap Y. Oh, to, to see them? Hold on. <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. Let's look at this. Oh, that's just cloth. That's where we came from. LB... We're getting closer to the village. 
I can't wait to get back to civilization. Oh, okay, so it stays on for a while. It's like survival instincts, but these are different from the ruins in Mexico. And it lasts. Apparently it lasts forever. Do your dad's notebooks say anything about Peru? No. I mean, there is supposed to be a secret city of gold in Peru. Paititi. Every treasure hunter on Earth is looking for it. But dad's notes stop in Mexico. Like he lost interest or... Or? I don't know. The next volume picks up in Syria. The passageway. These two gods are the rulers of the Maya underworld, Shabalba, literally the place of fright. Fukub Kakwish, whose name means Seven Macaw, was a monstrous bird who was said to carry the false sun in his beak. His subordinate was Hunkame, which means one death. They are both defeated and killed by the hero twins after challenging them to various sports and games in which both sides cheated. Fukub Kakwish lost his game of darts when the hero twins used blowpipes. Hmm. I know nothing. Remind me how the riddle goes again. She's About the heart of the serpent. To the Incan mythology. Mountain where the twins confer. Hmm. Wait, monolith. How far do you think it is to Kwakyaku? Assuming we're going the right way, um, hard to say. But the irrigation system is a good sign. Right. We're here at some point. Let's just hope There's something alive. here. But Jonah's like over here. Oh, wait. Hold on. Let's light this up. Do we have two skill points? We do. Let's get the trap detector because we're going into some ruins right now. We have perception. Oh, look at this. You can increase this to human enemies and make it last longer I definitely want that we're going heavy into the secret area we should definitely do some poison stuff as well right where's the one with the bodies this guy two skill points maybe that'll be what we do next three upgrades available X. Interesting. What is the... Okay, we don't have the stuff for the third one. Higher arrow speed, more damage. Let's go down. Draw speed is terrible right now. So let's do that first. Oh, hold. And hold time wouldn't be bad either. So we definitely need more hide. How about this? Oh, they're just acquired. Check marks. So what's in here? We can see I found trap. something. There might be a way in. If it's not civilization, I'll wait here by the fire. Wait a minute. What, what was he looking at? You find anything? Roots and ruins. Ready to head out then? Let's go. Let's go back in there. I think... Is it a tomb? Is this a tomb? It is a tomb. Let's check it out. All right, let's check this out.
makes me nervous whenever there's dead animals around because it makes me think that there are jaguars. And we can at least see the traps now. That's fantastic. Probably the most useful skill we've got yet. Backpack. And now... I'll have to climb to make it across. Oh, rappel down. Right, right. Forgot about that. And then, like this. Nice. I like the rappelling. It really makes it feel like you're this you're doing some good traveling. Century. Look at how old this is. Look, arrows. Some natives got them. Look at the hat right there. Let's loot their stuff. That starch shirt Forset may be getting all the attention, but I know his time is almost up. The world will remember the Timothy Walker as the man who finally found the lost city of El Dorado. Okay. You can always feel free to pause and go through those. I like more when, instead of the journals, when she finds the, um, the artifacts, the actual items. Er, yeah, here we go. What? Did somebody just throw that? Do we have to fight enemies in our tombs now? You know what? We should probably... I guess we're okay for arrows. Yeah, someone's totally here. Ooh. This feels like the kind of ground that would have traps. But none yet. Let's get this. Hmm, I don't think we can get to that. Oh, over here. <sighs> what an incredible sight. That's awesome. All right, let's go here. Oh, I guess that's the way back in because there is something there that we can go through hopefully now yeah we just have the bow oh there's a little gold here it looks like 
Now there was mention the last time we picked up gold that there's merchants in the game. I guess there was a merchant in the last game as well. That one um, Trinity guy that was betraying them. Grapple axe. Throw the grapple axe with X while jumping. So this is still a thing we have. Ooh, what's in here? All kinds of stuff. Black powder for explosives. And then there was something here. Another journal, it looks like. Damn this place. Damn this forsaken jungle. It holds a jewel just out of reach and then sweeps your legs out from under you. We've almost made it across that bottomless pit. Some kind of altar beckons from the other side. Yep, that's where we are. None of the other stuff seems to be important. Let's press on. moved up ahead I see him he's got a lot of makeup on have to find a way across and this he's note, eh? definitely the shooty type all right let's just take some cover what are we doing here are we pulling you maybe Is he going to shoot us when we're halfway across? He might. Or cut the rope. No, we're fine. Is he still there? They must have abandoned this place in the middle of building it. Have to find a way across the cenote. Cool. And it just went back. Oh, is it not going to move? Have to find a way across this mote. Look at He's right there. I can't shoot him. Ha <laughs> ha. Oh, maybe I have to pull it again to make it go back. I see. Come on, come on. Nope, that's definitely not right. Oh, there's a rope right there. Hmm. Or do I jump here? That seems dangerous. Well, we definitely need to pull this back. Now, what we should do I know. Nope! Oh, Lara. Can I put that back? Yes. <laughs> we gotta cut this. Swing this back around. And attach these two. Now can I? That should hold. Yes. 
Pull this guy. And it'll want to go. Made it. There must be a climbing path somewhere to reach the altar. Yes, yes. I'm sure there is. Let's just get all the things first. Here, under the watchful eye of one of the Lords of Death, lies the gate to Shabalba, where all must travel when transitioning from this life to the next. Yep. There must be a climbing path somewhere to reach the altar. I see that. And there's well let's just go for it <laughs> and now he's throwing rocks at us Do that in a second. Some gold. Just want to keep an eye out for traps. Oh, look at this. Looks like a sacrifice. We're gonna deal with that in a second. Let's go on the other side. More gold? I'll take it. Now to find my way out. Increase climbing skills to traverse the environment with more speed. Ooh. Let's be careful. Is that the only way? That seems really far. Oh, grapple axe. Thank you for reminding me. All right. This is where we started. And it looks like we did it. And I think that's probably going to do it for today, guys. We're going to get back to the campfire. Maybe we'll get a skill point or something. I'm not sure. We'll take a look. But Jonah should be waiting right here at the campfire. You find anything? Another of those Maya altars, and... And what? An old camp, gone to ruin. We should keep going. Right. 
Yeah, after we sit at the campfire. So we've got one. To get the dead body one, we need another skill point, so we're not going to do anything right now. Maybe I'll hunt some rabbits and get some hides because I think we can improve more stuff. But that's going to do it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed our time together. Take care.